There's Sarah the Jean. How you doing? Ready to go home? Oh yeah. Let's go home. Go get. Get you little rat. Woohoo! Well, guess what I've been doing today, boys and girls? No, I ain't been playing with that. No, I haven't been upholstering my chairs or seats and stuff like I'm supposed to be doing. I've been playing with Wilma. Bless her heart. And, hey, there's a new top that Neil needs to put on for me. Old Dan Electro. How a guy named Neil gets Dan Electro, we don't know. Another one of them secret agent things that we don't ask. Okay, what's happened here today? Was the old man got the head yard off of it. And the old panniered is laying down there. I think they call that the sump. And here it is. 300 miles ago. It was all put together. And uh, pistons, pardon me, pistons had lots of slop in it, but it's the ones that was furnished with the car. And they were standard. So, I put them together and drove the far out of it for 300 miles. Had fun. I love the car. Didn't know. Didn't know. But it's a wonderful car. It's fun, fun as heck. And uh, anyway, now it's got to come out and send off to get some holes dr drilled out bigger. So that my new pistons... He said new pistons. Can you see that? So these super duper low compression $400 2000 over pistons will fit the holes. Now I got everything I think to put it together again and uh, make it right this time. There's lots more stuff I want to do. I was kind of in a rush to get it done. One thing is, uh, I don't like all these wires and hoses and stuff. I want to try and minimize that as less, less as I can. And uh, and uh, I'm, 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 you can't tell it by all this crap that I am actually a minimalist, if I can say that right. I like simple things that's why on, the, on when I do the Crosley engines I only have like one cable and two wires when I get them all narrowed down and hid but anyway uh, been out here half the day let me see what it says on the checking the Lexapro clock on the wall, it says it's 3.30, something or other. And let's see what the temperature it is. I know it's at 100 degrees. 100, uh, yeah. The uh, the humidity is 100 degrees. Let's see what the little thing here says. Oh, food spoilage. Food spoilage. And it's been raining here. I don't know if you can see the clouds or nothing. But, you know, hopefully no more tomatoes like we've had a couple weeks ago. God bless them folks and their family. And uh, I think that's about all the, the uh, wickedness I can show you. Uh, this for George. I'll show him couple of my models I never built back when my NASCAR days was going on I was crazy about Bill Elliott these are two models of Bill Elliott one of them is actually supposed to have been pulled off the shelf because of some kind of copyright thing but I had a good buddy at the model shop send me one and I don't remember which one is the bad one Anyway, we quit watching Bill Elliott when he dropped his really nice little round wife and got that little skinny one and went 
completely Hollywood on us. And he stopped winning races. And I found out through my racing days and some other things that it's all it's all rigged anyway. There's my little Starliner. I actually had the card to match that thing. It had a, I put a 428 in it, Super Cobra Jet, it had some killer pistons, and put a factory tri power and some cast iron NASCAR headers on it, and a C6 that I put some good stuff in, and pause the track, and, and, uh, and it didn't, it didn't do right. It wanted to break stuff and tear the frame in two and do all sorts of weird things. One thing that the 60 model Fords is, they're three inches over width for the national, for the uh, highway department to be registered in the highway department. Pontiacs in 60, 59 and 60 had the same trouble. So they had to pay uh, a fine for every car that they produced. And if you watch the 61 Fords, even the 61 Starliners are lots narrower. And uh, speaking of 428s, I've got one somewhere. I don't know if this will pick it up. There's my last 428. It's a super killer engine. I'm not going to put it in nothing. Let somebody else put it in something. My head hurts anyway. Uh, speaking of head hurt. Uh-oh. Uh there's Dishonest John. Yeah, uh -uh. Uh, yeah, Benny and Cecil. Who's Benny and Cecil, you say? <laughs> well, sorry. Uh... Golly, I got this zoomered in. How do you zoomer it out? Nope. Oh! Okay. Let's see if I can put this on the old Barry Mobile. As you can see, I'm sporting a haircut. Yay! And uh, still ugly. But uh, anyway, fixing to go back home. I've run to the end of my chain today. Tomorrow I'll be at Leslie with Mom and Dad and goobing around up there. Who knows what kind of trouble I'll get into there. Not much because Mom and Dad have whooped the fire out of me. Uh, okay. That's all I know for sure. Uh, well, I don't really know for sure, but uh, that's my Hank Kimbrell. Okay. I love y'all. Bye.